Hello, everyone. My name is Melinda Pollan. I'm the Brown County 4-H Youth Development Educator. And today, I just want to uh, give another opportunity for us to do some hands-on activities in the comfort of our own home. Uh, today's um, activity is called Being a Story Solver. And we're going to use uh, books that we have laying around the house or uh, stories that you might know by heart to help us be creative and encourage our young, uh, our young learners to be engaged in some activities that help them be engineers and solve some story problems. Uh, so let's get started. There are four things that make a really good story, and it's consistent no matter what kind of story you read. Uh, it has to have an exciting setting. It has to have exciting characters. And in every good story, there's some problem that those characters encounter. Uh, those characters have to create some form of solution that make the story, as, uh, as we all like to see happen, have a very happy ending. The four major components, the settings, characters, problems, and solutions are also something that we can create and really enhance in the comforts of our own spaces um, and help to create new stories, new story endings, and new uh, alternatives for our young people. We've talked about this a couple of times. This is the design engineering process. Uh, we gather information and we develop possible solutions. We make something and we test it and then we improve it. As we've talked about before, this is a, a cyclical process and it goes from uh, one step to the next over and over. It's iterative, meaning that we can do it over and over and over again. Today, we're gonna use this design engineering process in helping us to create some problem, some solutions for the problems that we might encounter in a book. So we've all heard the story of the three little pigs, um, the, the huff and the puff of the big, big bad wolf uh, knocks over the first two pigs' houses. And so our challenge, the challenge I'm giving you today is to see if you can create a wall that will withstand the huff and puff of that wolf. Um, and the huff and puff can be a, a, a book that you might flap up and down and see if you can create a gust of wind, whatever that might be. The structure is really super simple. It just needs to be between four to five inches tall using whatever you have around the house. Pipe cleaners, mailing labels, straws, Q-tips, uh, binder clips, you see the list on the screen. Whatever you have in your junk drawer or in uh, a backpack, or uh, on a shelf somewhere. Use those things to see if you can create a wall that's four to five inches tall that can withstand the huff and puff of that big bad wolf. What does that look like? You just do, build it. So here's our solution, or here's our issue. We have to create a wall that will withstand that, that huff and puff. Uh, you build it and you test it, blowing on it, creating a gust of wind, observe and find out if it stood or not, and improve it if it didn't. Uh, that's what we call um, the do stack, the do experience section. But then we reflect on it and see what happened and why. Could you make it better? And then we'll apply that in maybe another book that you have laying around the house. Uh, we have a book in our house called, uh, that's about a, a race car and a, a, a hamster. And so uh, can you create the car for a hamster that will win the race? Uh, it really is all about um, doing something, reflecting on it, and applying it. There's no right or wrong way to develop your walls. Here's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to see on our on our social media, on any social media channels out there, some hashtags um, with WI4H and inspire kids to do with pictures of your creations locally. Uh, what did you make in, on your kitchen table, on your kitchen floor, and your living room carpet? What walls were you able to create using uh, being, a, being a problem solver and a story problem solver? Here are a couple of examples of what has been done in the past with craft sticks, tape to the back of, of um, index cards, random supplies, counterbalances. Uh, you'll see at the bottom right down here, we've got a, a clothes pin. Here we used a plastic bag. Lots of different solutions for, for us to, to, to create that solution for the problem. Again, I just want to encourage you to get out there and try something new. Uh, pop on if you wouldn't mind and use those hashtags, hashtag WI4H and hashtag InspireKidsToDo. Go on out there and get creating. Thanks everybody, have a great day.